Jerry? Yeah, what, what, what can I do for you, Rod? You just tell me what can I do for you. It's a very personal, very important thing. Hell, it's a family life. Are you ready, Jerry? I'm ready. Just want to make sure you're ready, brother. Here it is. Show me the money. Jerry, here's the money. Oh, no, no, you can do better than that, Jerry. I want you to say it with you with me, then, brother. Hey, I got Bob Sugar on the other line. I better hear you say it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Show you the money. Don't talk so do. Show me the money. Show me the money. Yeah. Louder. Show me the money. That's it, brother, but you got to yell that shit. Show me the money. I need to feel you, Jerry. Show me the money. Jerry, you better yell. Show me the money. Congratulations, you're still my agent. All my dreamers put your hands in the sky. One time. What up, fellas? What up, fellas? What up, fellas? It's your man here in the building. Feeling good, bro. Feeling so good today, man. Decided to come here and chill with all my homeboys. It's your man, the Shave Lion King, bro. How is everybody doing this evening? How is your life going, bro? <laughs> I'm over here feeling fly, bro. Call it super fly, bro. That's how I feel, bro. It's crazy on how my life is going, man. Every day is a wonderful journey. I'm meeting so many wonderful new people, bro. It's amazing, man. When I tell you I'm meeting the coolest people, bro, you have no idea, bro. I'm meeting the most randomest, coolest people, bro. Low-key, bro. Legit, cool business owners, okay? Well-off people that I'm meeting, bro, that are just resonating with me right off the get-go. And next thing you know, we talking this, we talking that. And now we got progress moving forward, bro, together, creating new connections, man. This is what it's all about, bro. But none of this stuff would have transpired. None of this stuff would have happened for me if, if I wouldn't have went through that, what we call the dark night of the soul. And what does this mean, man? This is usually means you're just ready to put down all devices, bro, that are not benefiting you, okay? And one of the first things that you're going to notice, man, when you go on a long-term journey of retaining your sexual life force energy is you're going to notice that the very first thing that starts to die off about you, because you got to understand, once you've given over yourself to the unknown, you've given yourself over to the most high, bro, okay, what's going to happen is the old you is literally going to perish, okay, gone. Poof, okay, without a trace. You start to lose little pits of yourself on the journey, okay? And the number one thing, like I said, that starts to falter really quickly is the ego, okay? And I want you guys to understand something, man. For a lot of you guys who are first time retention dudes, okay? For a lot of you guys who may not even know anything about retention, let me let me explain something to you guys, bro. Okay, this this journey, bro. All right, you're gonna have to put down things, bro, that once used to cause you major issues in your life. Okay, and we all we all know what we're talking about. We're talking about the ego, bro. Okay, that's the major thing. All right. That's worth giving up on this journey, because if you don't, bro, you end up having, like I said, some major, major issues along your way. Now, retention has a way of softening this. OK, it, it shows you why the reasons you need to put down this lifestyle. OK, you need to put down this persona. OK, because 
most of the time, all it feeds into is the negative aspect of our environments. Okay. When you have an ego, okay, you attract things that don't need to be attracted to you, attention that, you know, gets attracted to you, things that you do not need to bring to your auric field, you automatically start attracting these things with the ego. Okay. The ego, most of the time, is a false persona. It's not the real person. Okay. It's something that we had to develop in a world so radical as this one that we live on. Okay. Especially here in the United States, if we've talked about many a times. All right. So this ego, bro, it's going to be hard to let it go. Okay. And the number one thing that I've seen that has counteracted this ego and it's easily <laughs> it will make you be able to transform into, you know, your higher self, bro, is retaining your seed. Okay. I started to drop my ego really early, guys. This is the way I can prove it for most of you guys who have never listened to me or you guys are new to the channel. Okay. All my long term subscribers know how I used to get down. Okay. I, I used to be someone who would just go right at people. You know what I mean? I would, you know, I'm, I, <laughs> I would go at them. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Right here, right on YouTube. Okay. That's the type of person where I'm, that was me acting, you know, through my ego. Okay. There was, there were times when I very first got on the shave Lion King portion of my journey in life, bro, that I, you know, I had that problem. Okay. And now looking back, bro, sitting over here on God mode, man, I'm seeing, man, how I used to be, how I used to move. And I'm telling you, man, when I tell you it was a death of the ego, it was a death of the ego, okay? Because that person back then attracted way more negative attention that he needed, okay? And this person's still going to attract, you know, negative attention because of my higher frequency of my light. It's blinding, okay? People don't understand it, all right? People, you know, people hate what they, you know, they don't understand, Okay. They don't understand why you carry yourself in a certain way, why you, you talk so nice, why you treat everybody so good, why you, you know, care about how you look. All right. I've dropped my ego since I've been on semen retention. I'm going to give you guys a couple examples and then we're going to open up uh, the line and we're going to let the retainers come on here, bro, and speak from their heart. So guys, I'm proving to you guys that I'm on one of the biggest ego deaths, you know, that you guys have witnessed. You guys go look at my past. You can go look. Okay. I was a college athlete, division one. Everybody knows that division one football player. All right. I was very muscular. Okay. I was very strong. Okay. And that time I was very in my ego. Okay. What I see most of these men are out here today. They're in their ego because Again, it's 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 a protection. And when you don't understand things and you don't know yourself, this is, you know, the projection that we unfortunately put out to society. So this ego with me, okay, I was big buff football player, strong. I've always been super strong. I've always been super swole. Okay. So there shouldn't be no reason why I shouldn't be talking about lifting weights, right? There shouldn't be no reason I shouldn't be crazy in the fitness. There's no there's no way I should be doing these things, right? But what you're seeing is you're seeing that's a part of the ego. Why? Because you're looking at someone who's walking the journey. And this is the example that I'm setting for you. I'm showing you guys how you have to live, whether you agree with it or not, if you want to reach your higher self. Okay. And this is a journey that you're all going to take one day. So it doesn't matter that you might not understand it right now. It doesn't matter that you're sitting there and you're not walking the journey. Okay, that's not the point. The point is the simple fact that you've planted the seed and you're here. Okay, you're eventually, all right, going to, you know, cultivate and make that plant grow. And that's going to be you into your journey. And now that you know what to do, okay, it just makes it easier for you. This is why I'm doing this. Okay, like I said, I'm just letting you guys know what you're going to be going through while you're retaining your seed. All right. It's, it's crazy. You guys, it's, it's a lot of change that you're going to have to, um, get used to. Okay. And you guys can do it. All right. If I can do it, 
you can do it. This is the reason that why I'm walking and showing you the example of how to do such. All right. You're going to have to let all of these things go. Okay. And that ego is going to be the first person to let it go. Okay. I used to be a big weightlifter. Okay. Strong. Okay. Here I am later in my life and I still see people my age who haven't let it go. They don't understand. Okay. Because the more you let that ego control who you are, the worse off you're going to be. That ego is going to end up costing you time off of your life. Okay. People don't understand simple facts of weightlifting, overtraining. Okay. Lifting too much. People think all of these things are good for you. I promise you, and and we all know this because we've all repeated it out of our mouths. I promise you, That everything that they promote in this world is not good for you. So what do they promote in this world? They they promote over-exercise, okay? Over-exerting your body. And then since you're over-exerting your body, they're now being the band-aid for that and creating all these, you know, synthetic, you know, drugs that you're now taking to help you achieve these goals that are already unhealthy, okay? I'm giving you this example because I've already lived this lifestyle and I've had the repercussions that came with living a lifestyle as such. Again, this is why I'm here. I'm your example. There's nothing that no one out there is going to try to say that I haven't gone through. I can, everybody who's up under the shave line king under here, other sub or a viewer understands, bro, that I can pretty much relate to any situation these people who are viewing me have had because I've had them. I've had many. Okay. And I'm telling you guys, this is what's going to happen to you because the ego is going to be in play. It's going to be in control. All right. And if you don't understand how to tame that ego, especially early on, you're going to end up costing yourself. Okay. Later on in your life, trust me, guys, liver problems, kidney problems, I, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I ran into an old friend of mine the other day in the grocery store and we used to all work together. It was two women that I worked with. Okay. And she told me the other day, cause I haven't seen her in, you know, like a couple of years. I haven't seen her. So she told me the other day that the gal, the other friend that we worked with had passed away. This girl was younger than me. Okay. And for that, it it just put a perspective on how we let our ego, okay, drive us, you know, into the grave, bro. It takes away from our long lasting, happy life that we're supposed to be living. So this friend of ours, okay, died because she had a liver problem, a liver failure. Okay. And most of the people out here that I know that are letting the ego rule them, drink every single day. I see it every single, they drink every single day. They got to have a drink to to bring them down. Kind of like how people are out here releasing their seed, right? You have people out here on all sorts of stimulants, all sorts of drugs, and that's all ego-based. At the very core of it, it's all ego-based because you need nothing. You need nothing, okay? You, you, You have everything that you need on your body at this present moment, you don't need any of these outside things. Okay. These are all things that someone has given to us to infiltrate the temple of God because we are literally the walking temple of God. We, we carry the light, bro. And this, all these outside things, okay. Including, you know, the, the, the execution (laughs) and the creation of the ego, to humans is the reason why we're living in the situations that we lived in. Okay. So when I tell you guys that this is important to tame and it's going to end up costing you time off your life or cost to your life, it is. Okay. And if I can, if I can literally put away my ego, like, like I said, guys, I could be on here doing any other thing. Think about it. I want you guys to think about this. Look at what YouTube wanted me to do. If you guys have been longtime viewers of my channel, it's, you know how to read YouTube. You can go to my homepage and what does YouTube show you for my most popular videos? They show you talking about women, 
okay? Talking about something that could be controversial, okay? Or talking about something where you're downplaying somebody, okay? That's all ego. And if you look at it, bro, this is what they're promoting on my page. But what did I decide to do, okay? If you go look at my work, even when I created those videos, if you go look at my work on what I talked about and where I stayed, okay, that should be my most popular videos. But in fact, it's not because it's showing you, bro, on how <laughs> the system works, bro. All right. They're showing you this. All right. But instead, what did I do? I dropped my ego a long time ago. Go look. I dropped my ego a long time ago. Okay. And now I'm moving forward in this journey. This is why things are coming to me so fast. This is why I'm able to, you know, ascend to where it is that I'm at here. Okay. And it's only going to get further and further the longer I go. So I just want you guys to understand that this is a serious topic. Okay. And this is something that you're going to experience early on. And I want you to embrace it. I want you to go with it. Again, you're a new person is about to emerge from this cocoon. Okay. You don't even understand who this person is coming because you've never met this person yet. All right. <laughs> it's, it's you. Can you imagine you're going to go meet your twin, but you've never met your twin. Someone tells you, Hey man, you got a twin, bro. It's time to go meet your twin. You're going to be blown away. Okay. But what you don't understand is this is the twin. Okay. That is now, bro, choosing the higher path in life, okay? Choosing to do the right things in life, attracting the right things to him in life, bro. Avoiding all the negative things. And this person is the person that we're trying to create. This is the person that you need to have driving your ship, okay? Because this person is going to have your best interest. And the only way you guys are going to be able to get there all right, is by retaining your seed. It is that important, okay? This is this is the number one step in becoming a man, okay? How am I going to give a man a weapon so powerful, okay? So powerful that it can, it can take him out and not teach him how to use it, not teach him how to wield it, okay? This is the baseline, okay? This is the first class on how to become a man and you will fail over and over and over because we're just not pushing people through this class. Okay. You have to understand you have to go through what everybody else has gone through. Okay. You have to have a death of the ego, bro. Okay. You've got to change your life. You got to stop worrying about being hard. Once I see someone that I know used to be a certain way, totally change who they are what they talk about, how they dress, lets me know where they are in their spiritual journey. But people who are consistently talking about the same things with no remedies, all right? <laughs> Zero remedies. This is what I don't understand. People are complainers and they're feeding the garbage to the community as entertainment. And this is wasting time, okay? Instead of being a teacher, somebody here, bro, that's going to make a difference. They choose to keep adding fuel to the fire. All right. And with that being said, what color is the, uh, what color is fire? It's red, which symbolizes what? That all these people are in their lower red chakras and you can see it with your own eyes because somebody would have elevated mine. Somebody who's trying to figure out and fix and correct things, bro, and truly trying to have the best for everybody's interest is not going to be adding fuels to the fire. I don't care what your stance is, okay? This is why, like I said, man, you, as a retainer, you're separating yourself from the whole pack, all right? Because now you're actually really looking at the things that are transpiring in life, bro, and you're trying to come up with ways to fix them. All right. And if you're not going to be able to fix them, bro, what you will do is you will at least supply the information, bro, that people need. All right. To get themselves going in the right position so they can do as such. All right. 
So this is important, guys. This is a death of the ego. I'm about to open up the phone line, bro. And I want to talk about retention. Okay. And I want to talk about people, bro, who are literally, okay, having a death of the ego. Okay. If so, if you can talk about any one of those two things, that's what I want to talk about. Nothing else, guys. Okay. About retention. Okay. And then if you're having a death of the ego while you're on tension, you know, do you notice this? Because like I said, it's, it's the number one thing that I have noticed. I dress completely different. I look completely different. Okay. Like I said, I used to be a big, huge buff football player. All I worried about was eating three, four meals a day, trying to walk around and look dumb and then not understanding that that was so unnatural for me. And now 15, 16 years later, I'm getting problems for that. So what do you think's what's going to happen to you? Again, we all have these same functioning bodies, but you think that you're going to avoid all those negative consequences that are about to come from you from all those choices that you made. And this is why I'm telling you, you got to kill your ego quick. All right. I have people out there I know that are drinkers. Listen, please stop drinking. And y'all know who I'm talking to. All right. I'm talking to a few women that have been in my life. Please stop drinking. Okay. Please stop drinking. I just had a friend die from liver failure and it was from drinking. And this person was young. Okay. I'm telling you. All right. It's a death of the ego and it's a death of the ego for a reason. All right. We understand, bro, what's going on around us, bro. All right. Especially when you have all your faculties in order and you can't have your faculties in order if you're out here walking around loose, bro. All right. You fools is walking around here loose, bro. I'm telling you, man, you would move totally different, bro. If you was retaining your life force energy, I'm telling you way more strategic, bro. All right. I'm telling you. So I'm about to open up the line, guys. Buffalo Mao in the building. He says, perfect timing. I'm going to have to catch you with the upload morning as it's 4.08 in the UK. Damn, bro. My bad, bro. I didn't know it was that early, man. My bad, man. See, yeah, I probably should be doing it early on the weekends, man. I didn't even think about that, bro. That's my fault, bro. Uh, I appreciate you for being in here, man. However, I send the inner, the energetic equivalence of blessings to you. I can feel your energy from here onwards up. I appreciate you, bro. Really appreciate you, Buffalo. I'm out. Always, bro. Tell them, man. Tell them. Truth and Broadcasting Station, what's happening with you, bro? How you doing today, man? Tell them, man. This is what it is, bro. Please hit the like button. Tell them, man. Tell them, bro. Listen, man. If you cannot destroy your ego, okay, it, it, then retention is not going to be for you, okay? This is why I'm telling you. This is how I know none of these people are retaining, bro. It's so funny. We hear, look how many people have retention in their mouth, bro, and look at their actions. Look at how mean they look. Look at how they always have an angry face. How are you talking about something positive and yet you still look mean? You still look upset, okay? Like I said, you can read people like a book if your third eye is open. You can see who's doing what, man. I can tell when people are retaining, bro, and I can tell when people are not, okay? Because if you were a real retainer, I don't care what you say. I don't care what kind of issues you got, bro. You would never be loose. You would never slip and fall downwards into your lower red chakras, bro, having arguments and screaming matches, Okay. And looking schizo on camera, bro. All right. That that's just what it is, bro. But this is all I see in the, bro. I see so much of it, bro. In the community, I hear the most craziest stories, bro. The other day I was listening to this dude, bro. All right. Homie was talking about how he went to a massage parlor. Like, look, bro, listen, guys, I'm not clowning nobody here, bro. I'm not clowning nobody here. And I'm using this as an example to show you, bro, how low men have fallen, bro. All right? To just show you how low. Bro, it's sad that you cannot control yourself. It is sad, bro. And the worst thing about it is you post it on the internet, bro. <laughs> 
Oh, bro, man, this is what's happening, bro, to our men out here, bro. This, bro, you, this is the, de- this is depleted and defeated, bro. All right, Th- they're showing you their actions, man. All right, I wish no man, bro, to ever be that low, bro, in his energy, man. This is why you guys should be looking at this as an example, bro. This is the guys, bro, that are representing us, bro, out here. All right. And you wonder why the society is changing the way it is, man, because look at what's going on out here, bro. Y'all got to stop it, bro. What is so hard about not touching yourself? I, I'm listen. Even then, even when I was stuck in the middle of it, bro, I still had a conscience of saying, all right, bro, this is whack. I need to stop doing this. You don't need to do this today. I've never been one of them people, bro, that just would constantly be into doing something like that, man. Even then, I had the conscience, bro. All right. So it just shows you, bro, that there's people out here, man, that really, really, really need the help, bro. All right. I don't know how they're struggling, man. Again, I don't, I, I'm not in your shoes and I don't want to be in your shoes because if you don't have the strength to stop your hands from going in your pants, bro, that's ridiculous, man. Okay. Especially when you, you, you start feeling aroused, bro. Okay. Cause we are, we all go to the bathroom every single day. That's a must. You're going to do that off top. But for the simple fact that you know that you're getting aroused, bro, and you choose to do that to yourself, that's the worst part. You're doing it to yourself. How how much worse does that sound? That's just like handing somebody a blicky, bro, and saying, do it to yourself. That's what you're doing. You're doing it to yourself. Ain't nobody else doing it to you. You're not a victim. What don't y'all understand about what I'm saying, bro? You're not a victim. And there is no reason, man, that you can't say, look, ego, today is time for you to die, man. I'm introducing myself to my higher self, bro. I'm going to a place I ain't never been before. But instead, y'all want to sit here, bro, and be comfortable. I, You know, I guess I can get it a little bit. Because I, I have family members that are back home, all right? Some of the greatest people, bro. I, my family is amazing, bro. I have so many cool personalities in my family, bro. But the only thing that just, just, just blows me about my family is they're comfortable, okay? They ain't really never had nothing, bro, okay? And they ain't never really gone out to see if they could have anything else, all right. And that's the comfortable part I'm talking about, man. You, you you get comfortable, bro. And when you get comfortable, bro, all right, there's no growth, man. And this is all I'm trying to prove to y'all. I'm trying to make a point here, man. You got to really, really break your ego, man. And the only way you're going to do that, bro, is you got to get build up the courage. You got to build up the energy, bro, to be able to fight those urges and being able to turn the tide. It's that simple, bro. But you can't be up here complaining about your life, man. All right. And you the one doing it to yourself. You're not a victim, man. You will never be a victim. I will never look at you and treat you as such. I will treat you as someone who did it to themselves. Okay. You get no empathy, bro. All right. It's time for men to grow up, bro. This is, that's, that's, bro. That's degenerate as hell. I don't care what y'all say. We is demigods. We are gods. We are gods. But you're down here pulling on your gummy worm, bro, releasing all of your energy that you need to lift buildings and bound over mountains. I don't get what y'all are on, bro. Okay. I don't get what y'all are on, bro. You should be partitioning your seed out, bro. Very, very little at a time, bro. Do you hear what I'm telling y'all? Okay. I mean, bro, the baddest chick in the world should only be getting your seed barely. That's it. I'm telling you the truth. Okay. But instead, well, the way we see it, okay, as 
little guys out here. We out here just dumping our seed away every single day, bro. Just wiltering away, man. Letting the ego take one nick off. Bro, I just sat here and told you, you got all these different things you got to worry about. Let's add them all up real, br real briefly, okay? You have to worry about taking care of your health. You got to worry about eating good food. They are already taken off half your life with that. Okay. Now you got to throw in other factors. You're doing drugs. Okay. You're smoking. You're vaping. I see so many people vape. That is worse than anything. It's funny. Like, let me tell you how the society works. The society always takes something that we have that's already bad for us and they create something else and it ends up being worse. <laughs> this is what they do. I'll give you another example. They they have all of this meat, okay? All the meat is causing all these people all these type of diseases, right? And then they what they do? They go and create some damn fake synthetic meat, okay? And then they they try to give the fake synthetic meat to the vegans, right? But the vegans won't eat that with no ten foot pole because we already know what it is, all right? They make all copies of stuff worse than the original, bro. This is the way this world works, man. It, I'm just telling you, bro, this is the way it works, bro. So just understand, guys, <laughs> you got a lot, bro, to deal with. You got to deal with the health, okay? You got to deal with the drugs, okay? And then the next thing that you got to deal with is you got to deal with yanking on your meat, okay? Releasing your life force energy. Now, here's the worst part about this part. So you're already defeated and depleted, okay, just from eating bad, you know, over exercising, not exercising at all, not detoxing your body, okay, eating all sorts of synthetic foods, okay, you're not even getting real foods, meaning you're not even getting real nutrition because all the nutrition on the side of that box is a synthetic form of nutrition. So you read something and you think you're getting that nutrition from it. Fool, that's not real food. <laughs> That's not real food, okay? You're getting synthetic. So when I tell you everybody out here is deficient and now you are yanking on your meat, bro, releasing yourself two, three, four, five, six times a day for some of you junkies, bro. Man, you are digging your grave faster than you can ever imagine, bro. You are aging faster than you have any idea that's coming, bro, okay? You got a damn half moon hairline coming soon, bro. I'm telling you, it is like that, bro. That's how bad that these choices will have you, man. It will break you completely down and it will take years off your life. Y'all have to understand that this ain't no game, bro. Okay. And the, the, the most minimum thing that you could do, bro. All right. Is be a person who understands and takes moderation seriously. But people don't even do that. So what does that mean? That means you need to just cut it off cold turkey. All right. You need to just cut it off cold turkey, bro. I'm seeing so many people around me on their last, I hate to say it, bro. They on their last walks. All right. They on their last walks for choices they done made. We're in that time, fellas. Okay. Most of us is 20s. 24s, 25s, 28, 29, 30s, and 40s, right? We in that time now, we're going to start seeing everybody around us who made bad choices. You're going to start to see the consequences. You're going to see people just falling off like flies here real soon, okay? Because everything that they done did for the last 10, 10 years is about to catch them, all right? It's about to catch them mid-stride, bro. In mid-stride, he was... <laughs> points, bro. And there's no response, okay? And I'm trying to tell y'all and I'm trying to teach y'all and I'm trying to help y'all, bro, because I'm, I'm telling you what I've seen through my wisdom, bro, and, my, and, and the knowledge that I've accumulated. I'm trying to help y'all win the race, bro. <laughs> it's like y'all don't get it, bro. Bro, I told you to use your imagination. If, if, if life is a big, long race, just picture we're on a big yellow brick road, bro. And all of us got our Mario Kart cars, bro. And we out there and we on this unlimited gold lit up path to heaven. Okay. Look at how many people, bro, is not going to get there. I want you to look at how many people is not going to get there based off of ego choices that they made, bro. Okay. 
instead, man, all right, of putting down everything here, because you got to understand the game is rigged. The game is rigged for you to lose. This is why you're losing. It's rigged. There's no excuses for you. I can't feel bad for you because you know the game is rigged in every way, but yet you're still not doing anything, bro, to try to help your situation. You're not trying to better your situation at all, bro. All right. And you can kind of see why as retainers, how we kind of want to walk this journey alone because we see how many people is making them bad decisions around us, bro. And we know eventually it's going to catch up to them, man. And the worst thing, bro, is having attachments to people, bro, who you tried to help out. All right. And they ignored all the information. This has happened to me so many times, bro. I can't even make it up, bro. I can't even make it up. Yo, Truth and Broadcasting Station, what's happening with you, brother? Hey, what's going on, man? What's going oh, you on? You tell me, Chief. You tell me, <laughs> Chief, how you living? It's, uh, man, it's been a long time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been? <laughs> it's been a long time, man. I've been listening for a long time, bro. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. I've been wanting to do this for a minute, man. I've been wanting to talk to you, brother, man. What's good with you, man? Tell us something, man. Yeah, man, I'm in New York, man. I'm just, I'm just hitting, I'm just talking to the chat. You got, you got Jeff in here who's trolling. I think. Oh, Jim, did you, did you, you take him out? I think Jim's going to do it for you. Okay, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Tell Jim I said thank you. <laughs> nah, but it's been a long time, bro. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, man. You know this, this journey and 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 retaining, bro. I've been doing this since 2017. I think almost the same time as you. Right. And um. Yeah, man, my life has changed, man. I got over a bad breakup around that time with a girl for seven years. It ended 2017. Uh, you know, I was depressed, obviously, because when you live with someone that long, you know, you get attached to them. But yeah, man, then I started, you know, doing the celibacy and right, right. And then, yeah, everything started changing, man. Within two to three months, I started feeling better. You know, I wasn't depressed, I wasn't acting like a bitch. That's what's and, up, bro. And yeah, man, every, now it's been what? like seven years now, man. And, and life is great, man. It really is, man. It's, and when it comes to the ego, you're absolutely right, man. A lot of people are attached to this persona that we play in, in our lives, you know, like, you know, my name is Vic right. and I, and I play the role of Vic, you know, but I know that I'm more than that. And I hear um, it, bro. Yeah, yeah, you are. You yes. are. Yeah. So, so um, let me ask you a question real quick, brother. So I know you, you've gone a long time, much respect. You are a master. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm bowing to you right now. Okay. We are we in, the, we're in the building. Black belts are in the building. Okay. So yeah, man, I, I tell us at one point, bro, how you felt this ego dying. Where, when was your ego shift in your first year of retention? Try to go fall back to your first year of retention and tell us when this ego shift occurred. I mean, the, the ego shift when it comes to the death for, for me personally, this, this death of the ego, it, it's, it's continuing on. Like it's continuous process for me because, you know, there's times that I know this is a game and I know about this matrix. So I'll play along, you know, with it. But then it, it, it's a real good feeling for me when I come across people like yourself. We haven't met personally, but, but people in my life that I have met personally and, you know, we get into conversations about this for a little while about life and the world and, you know, and obviously the rigged reality that we're in. Right. But uh, the, the death of the ego for me sometimes can get scary because sometimes I feel like like my spirit wants to leave this physical realm. Like it's it's like almost saying, you know what, maybe you've done as much as you can here. Let's mm -hmm. take it. Let's take it to the next realm. And then there, that's where my ego is like, nah, man, you got to stick around. There's more shit you got to do here in this Absolutely. realm. Absolutely. You yeah. know what I mean? So it kind of plays a double edged sword for me because I kind of want to have an ego just so I can just still be in this physical, you know, I agree. This physical realm. You know I know agree. I mean? And so. let me speak on that really, really briefly, because I was just uh, I was just thinking about something today. I was saying this is the better way to look at it, brother. We as retainers, especially, you know, masters as us as such, we're God mode retainers, bro. We have the ability to freely go up and down our chakras. So yeah. it's a little bit different. Okay. I don't want people hanging out in the ego. I understand that you have to apply it in today's society at times. Okay. But there's also other ways you got to try other avenues. Okay. And what I've learned is, believe it or not, guys, there's not very many times I've had to use my ego 
Okay. I told you I used it that one time and that was in, within months. I don't remember the last time I had really used it because I told you that one guy that came in that was pushing on me in the store and I had to pick him up over my head. Right. <laughs> I told you about that dude, but he kept testing me. But did you see how I tried to go around the ego? I tried every avenue to, you know, exclude the using that energy. And that's what I'm trying to get people to understand and how you said that you had, you have to use it. And I want people to understand you don't have to necessarily use it, but you have the ability to go up and down your chakras. And remember, you always want to try to choose that higher energy if you can. No, absolutely. I feel like what you did is kind of like what I do in my daily life is, is disarming those situations instead of using your ego. You kind of like, you know, make a swerve. And then you disarm whoever is trying to feed off you or start something with you. And absolutely. Yeah. So no, nah, man, this is, this is a journey, man. It's a journey towards you. It's about mastery and it's every day we got obstacles and we got opportunities and yeah, man, it's just, I, I'm just happy to be part of this community. I'm, I'm happy that I fell upon one of your videos about six years back. And, you know, I, I feel like the journeys are, are somewhat similar. In, right. in in what we've been through. Obviously, I know you got children. I don't even have any children yet. Right, um, right. I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to qualify the right woman for that. Bro, um, you're doing your thing, bro. You're you're yeah. Brad, you're a good representation of what, what men should be doing right now, bro. You're tanning your seed, bro. You ain't got no kids. You're making a smart decision, bro. You're vetting the right woman. And that's bro, that's important. And you notice you're not just squirting in anything. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, man. I, I had that. I had I told you I had this woman here that I met. It's funny. I met, they're talking about massage parlors. That's how I met this woman. And you know, I, you know, I gave her my number cause I like, I like entertaining situations. I'm not going to really do anything, but I just like to entertain it, to have life experiences. Right. And, and uh, yeah, I had this woman over here, man, almost every day, once a week walking around naked, man. And like, and it was, I, I agree with you. You mentioned how, like, the blue ball shit. Yo, I, I, I <laughs> yo, it's, yo, I, I, yo, dude, it's terrible. I, I it's, uh, it's, ter it's terrible, but it's almost like masochistic that I do to myself. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like I place myself in that low chakra just for a little while. Right. You know, bro. I, I, I know I, we're human, you know, but, but I'm not right. going to, but I'm not going to pull the trigger. It's not going to happen. Exactly. You know exactly. I mean? And that's fine what you're doing. I brought that, no, nobody has no problem with that. Remember, we're doing we're not doing Hama Brahmacharya. Okay. We're doing our version. We're doing semen yeah. retention. Okay. We we still want to be able to, you know, touch a female every now and then. Exactly. You know what I'm yeah. Saying? So no, exactly. yeah, bro. Trust me, I'm with you on that. You're never gonna hear me say anything that's wrong with that. But what we don't want is we just don't want you out there with random chicks, though. You no, know what I'm not. saying? Don't use your power for that. You know what I'm saying? But if it's a girl that you you vetting and y'all are feeling each other, you'll do your thing. No, absolutely. And I'm kind of doing, I mean, like I said, the journey's a journey. But I know one of the big things that we harp on this community is to release when you want to procreate with someone. So in some ways, right. I've, I've kind of indoctrinated that in my lifestyle now where Cause I, you know, like I said, I, I had a girlfriend for six, seven years. I was doing the, you know, uh, intimacy, movies, eating, intimacy, movies, eating, going out, right. base, baseball games, basketball. You know what I mean? I was doing that life, but right. I, al I always felt that there, there was something bigger for me. You know what I mean? And in some ways that could have been one of the corporates of the relationship for me to fall out of it. But, you know, it, people come in. People come in out of your life for season. Sometimes they're there forever. Sometimes they're there for a season. Right, and, bro. And you kind of learn from the experience, you know, that's, that's all we can do. I got you. So, um, Hey, chosen. Are you, 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 you're a mic, bro. You ready to come up? Yeah. Yeah. What's good, man. What's hey, the broadcasting. Go ahead. This, is, this is my man chosen, man. Y'all introduce yourselves. How you doing? Hey, what's up? Doing, chosen? Broadcast? Hey man, I just want to say, man, it's just, it's a blessing to be in both of you guys' presence. Cause you know, I'm a young man myself and, Y'all like OGs to me, you know what I'm saying? So like, Tell it, bro. I, I appreciate y'all, man, for just letting us, just I'm all open ears, you know, wisdom matters most. I'm Absolutely. all open ears just to, you know, sit back and just listen to you guys, you know what I'm saying, conversate about uh, retention. And right. I haven't got to where you guys are at just yet. Um, refreshers, bro. How long were you, what was your longest again? Right now, I think I'm... I think I might be what, like six, 14, 
six no six hundred and seventeen days. Yeah. Damn, bro. Wow, that's pretty. Yeah, good for you, bro. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, bro. That's good, bro. Not a drop. Not a drop. Not a drop. Wet not dreams. A... Yeah, but we had wet dreams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. We do. We have did that. It. Like I can't even. I can't even avoid that. And I tried my hardest not to, fellas. Well, <laughs> shit. I think I think that's just God's way of letting us know that we. I'm like, serious, yeah. bro. I be putting ice packs on my bro. I, well, bro, I do all kind of shit. Well, whatever why, I gotta do to keep it cool, bro. That's why you gotta have a woman in your house walking around naked. Then. <laughs> Telling right, you. yeah, you know, oh my god, bro, that would be so That's hard, it. man. That would be so hard, bro. You know, what I'm saying? I ain't gonna cap to you, <laughs> yeah. I believe it. what were you saying, Chelsea, real quick. No, I was just saying with the weird dreams, I, I, because my mind, when I do have a weird dream, it'll kind of take over, you know, like it'll take over, but like, I think that's just God's way of letting us know that, like, we just upgraded, we just, we just graduated another level of semen retention. That's right. I see it, but yeah. Um, so on your 600 days, bro, tell me, I, 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 I know you heard what we're talking about. We're talking about the death of the ego. Okay. Right. right. I know, I know you've been on 600. You don't seen that. And the reason I know that because you told me just how you, you parted from your last girl, how all of a sudden you just said, I'm done being used. And that's a, that's a testament to the part of the ego. Am I lying? No, you're not. You know, it's just like, man, and I'm going through what you're talking about really more than ever. Like right now in this time period of my life, I'm going through it heavy because right. like, like truth and broadcasting said, it's scary. Like it's really scary waking up and it's like, who's in control? I was, I was in the, um, one of the food places, uh, last Sunday and it was like, who's in control? I asked the dude, what book was he reading? And, he was like, he just read a piece of the book to me. This I know you sync, you know, you synchronize. And it was like, right. He was like, who's in control? Like, is the desired mind, the ego mind, the restless mind, is that what's in control? Or is your true self the one who knows your, you know, your highest calling, the one who's going to make you balance, like completeness, wholeness? Right. right. Is that what's in control or is, is your ego in control? And this whole week, Maybe maybe I'm say this whole month, but more than ever now this whole week it's been a battle and a balancing of who's in control, my ego or my highest self. Right. And you know? that's the message, bro. That's the message. That's what I was saying, bro. But that's that death of the ego. Yeah. You let that go, bro. That too. And I'm telling you, it's beautiful when you do though, fellas. Because like I said, now you don't introduce yourself to your twin. Yeah. You got a twin out there, bro, that you ain't never met. This nigga is cool. <laughs> Do you hear what I'm saying? Like, he is, he's looking out for you, bro. He's going to do the best. He's going to take care of you better than you've ever been taken care of, bro. And that's what I'm saying. That's that death of the ego. This is what y'all need to experience, man. And like I said, I can tell who's doing it. Listen to the way Truth and Broadcasting talks. Listen to the way Chosen talks. And hear the man's voice. Hear the speed, the tone, the control. Okay? This man right here, these men right here are retaining their seed, gentlemen. Okay? So I just wanted to use these guys' as examples so you could see that. Cool's in the building. Let's hear what he got to say real quick. Yo, yo, yo. Saying what's up with y'all. Um, what's good, yeah, man? So, um, really, I'm on I'm on a day one street, but I ain't gonna lie. Um, like I um you know, I on I, I took a lot of testosterone booster pills. So. Like so when? I'm back on the journey. Um I you know what I'm saying, like a hey, um like um, today. You know, so that's how you know I'm low day. I talk like I'm low day, I ain't gonna lie. Right. When I was the highest I went was 152 days. Damn, that's bro, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. good, bro. So, so let me let me let me ask you, bro. Tell us because we're all interested, man. Everybody, there's been a lot of people. There's a lot of things going on. First of all, there's a lot of stress. I ain't gonna cap. Okay, yeah. a lot of people are stressed out about bills, foods high. You know, to to trying to find a roommate if you can't afford a rent is out is is just astronomical. I know people is out here is tripping, bro. So I get it. But I want you to tell us, bro, what was your reason for the things that you did? Tell us, enlighten us. 
Uh, the reason why, so the reason why how I started SR was from Spiritual Soul, bro. Because Spiritual Soul made a video on No Fat, bro, and he right. was basically talking about like you know like like you know what I'm saying like masturbation is bad and stuff like that. Okay, hold on one second, one second, one second, one second. I'm gonna stop you real quick. No, no p word. Okay, corn. Right. Okay, corn. All right. Okay, no p words. <laughs> all right, and the other yeah. word. What was the other word? Um, you're fine with everything else. Just no hard p words. No hard n words. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Long. So, spiritual soul made a video like like no. Fat, right? Hey, hey, can I say fat? Or? Yeah, you can say that. All right. Yeah, no fat. Man. He was talking about masturbation, fat and stuff. And right. The video made sense. And then, like, my first street ever, I was in high school. I was at, uh, I was in 11th grade. I was 16. I was 17. Damn, bro. Now 21 years old. So. Yeah. So hold up, you 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 spiritual soul put you on back then when you was that young, bro, and you got on retention for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. that's what's up, bro. So what did you what did you learn from that streak, brother? Like my first ever streak. Ever yeah, did. first ever streak was like ninety some day. First ever streak. Yeah. So the first episode, the first so the uh so my first ever street when I experienced was like my confidence, bro. Was through the roof. Hell yeah. Like I stopped giving a f- what people saying. Thank you. Anything like bro, my energy was just through the roof. Like like I could work bro uh, I was working out and like it was like I felt like I can't I can't like get tired. Like, yeah, I bro. I felt that. Yep. <laughs> it is crazy, but yo, this journey is powerful, man. Mm. Like I have to do this. Like this is some real stuff. We it is like, right. Money King put his energy to the bills, and y'all don't put it to the use. Like right, bro. You know you gotta think. These brothers up here who's spreading this awareness out here. Right, bro. This all is an agenda for us to weaken us as a man. man. Thank you. Life for us, man. That's Tell them, bro. Own. And once you and, 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 and what y'all don't know too, that's a that's like a generational spell they have. On yes, the bro. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's some real stuff, man. Like SR, man, changed my life, man. I've been on it off for since I was seventeen, and man, like SR really changed my life. Maybe she. Now you know, bro. Really right? Different. Yeah, yeah. It got you, man. You got you. It got you, bro. Okay, it got you, bro. For the rest of your life, bro. It got you. Now here's what's gonna happen, brother. We understand you, young. <laughs> but the simple fact that you already got the train in motion, brother. All right. You already got the you got the train in motion, bro. You like, bro, hey man. I don't know who you yeah. is, brother, but you about to change the whole outlook and the whole future of your family, bro. Okay. You the you the true you the you the white sheep. I don't not gonna use that word black sheep. I hate that word. Okay. They always try to say we the black black sheep, but we something bad. Okay, you the white sheep yeah. of your family, bro. You the dude who will wait, man. When I tell you, you about to be holding some power, bro. Keep going, man. All right, listen. This is the only excuse you have to not retain. Hear me out, brother. All right, if you if you're not beating down Princess Jasmine, okay, and I mean in, in every sense of the word. If she ain't paid, okay, if she can't take care of you like that, bro. If she ain't bad. If she ain't one that you could just see, you know, you procreating with her, bro, then you don't even need to be doing it, bro. It should be all about retaining your seed, bro, until you find the most baddest one that you can, bro. All right. And then and you decide to do from that point. OK, that's what young men should be doing. OK, I, you didn't hear me saying chasing all of these women, bro. You don't got time for that. You have to. Put your energy, bro, into your grind, bro. While you're young, bro, you can go two times harder than I can. 
or you're supposed to. I ain't gonna know. I ain't gonna cap. Lion King ain't no punk, bro. <laughs> I feel like I'm in my 20s, but I'm just saying the average man, bro. Okay, you, you have to go hard right now, brother. Okay, and I'm telling you, if you retain your seed and you just find the focus, man, there is no limit to what you can do. Right, and um, I appreciate that, Shady Lion King, man. It, it means a lot, man. For you sure, know? brother. Hey, what's and, uh, inter- what's your, can we can we know your name, brother? Hey, uh, my name Dennison. My name Dennison. Nice to meet you, Dennison, bro. Hey, nice Dylan, go ahead, man. Go ahead and pop up here. Tell us, tell us what's up, Dylan. Hey, what's happening, fellas? With Nothing. The, uh, what's good, uh, fam? Yes, brother, man. I appreciate you uh, letting us come up again, man. And uh, just good hearing from all you guys with all your different journeys and the things you guys are experiencing, man. It's a beautiful thing. It is, ain't it? Man, and uh, this topic is is uh, it's, it's a great timing, man, with this ego. Um, you know, I've been thinking about this actually today, um, just kind of dealing with this chick I've been kind of seeing on and off for a while. And I was getting in my, you know, we've been going through some stuff and I actually told myself, like, before I was getting in my feelings, I checked myself because I knew that I wasn't really in my feelings. It's just my ego was taking a slight hit. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think it's important to know the difference between the, your actual true self and your ego. Right, bro. Right. And it's a, it's a deep psychological thing that we have to understand, but semen retention really helps with that a lot. It does, bro. Man, it's, it's just like, like you said, man, you get smarter on this journey with semen retention. It's just your, your brain works differently. And, um, you know, I feel like my whole life in this past year and some change is just, I've been going through a whole, different journey in life and just right. kind of my ego has been melting in a way there you I'm, go I'm getting to the important things of life and not just trying to look a certain way for society and trying to Thank show you. off yeah and i'm getting to the important stuff of like what i really need to be doing and staying on the righteous path of life and not just you know doing what society says um so i think that's important to remember and just stand in the righteous path man that's a big thing for me personally just kind of always reminding myself just do the right thing right bro now i know you've you you just talked about some little things that you did but tell us honestly bro from a a retainer standpoint bro tell us how it felt or when you realize that your ego is starting to fade while you're on sr and how you see that you can find alternative means, bro, to get your message across without diving into that lower energy. I think it just starts with making that decision. Uh, not, it's just you got to like separate yourself from society in a way. Right. Because it's, it's, it's like the matrix, man. You got to like deprogram yourself from all this BS you've been thrown at your entire life of living a certain kind of way and it's funny man i was i literally man i i I have this notebook man and a while ago i wrote down like a a list of all the women i've slept with in my life right oh yeah i just just sat down and i i I thought deeply and try to remember every woman i've I've oh yeah (laughs) yeah man and uh i went down by each year broke it down and you, you know, see certain years you kind of like it's kind of dry, and certain years I went crazy. Right, bro. <laughs> and, and, uh, <laughs> but you know, sometimes I keep going back to that that notebook, and I, I can just see where my mind was for those years, and like what I was thinking and what was my mission that year, and where I was kind of just you know messing around. I didn't really have any focus, or I was focused on a certain thing. Right, and. Um, a lot of it, man, when chasing all those women is just ego. It was a lot of ego. Just like, it was. I got to get all these women, man. Prove it to myself, man. I'm, I'm the man. Blah blah blah. And get you funny. in trouble. Oh, plenty of trouble. Plenty of just wasted time, and a lot of that stuff was empty and, and you know garbage. But right, uh, bro. you know, I'm, 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 in a way, I'm thankful I did it just to like know that that's not what is important. 
you know what I mean? Right. But uh, but now I look at like this year, it's just it's pretty much empty, and right. and it's like I'm cool with that because I know my mission this year is like I'm on a whole another wave, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, man, that was just like a, an example of how you got to really look at what you're doing. Don't just be doing stuff just because that it looks cool or that's the thing to do. Exactly. Like know what you're doing and know why you're doing it. Exactly. Living in that moment, bro. And that's all I wanted to tell them people, Brian, because we don't do that, man. Okay. Everybody, man, I mean, man, I know when people in their ego, I talk to them every day. Just the way they act. Some people are so in their ego, bro. It's like ridiculous, man. <laughs> Like, they'll come in and they'll just like, you know, just because you work at a place and somebody comes in doesn't mean that you necessarily have to serve them, right? There's no no, no right to serve. Where is that? You know what I mean? And they come in so entitled. Like, you know, like, bro, it's hard to explain, man, without, you know, sounding like I'm dissing these people. But it's just like... I deal with this on a daily basis, bro. I know people are in their ego. Bro, people are in their ego just with road raging every day. Okay? T talk about it, bro. People, are, man, people are at ego just in the comment section. I mean, bro, the egos is buck wild. All the women are in their ego. Let's keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's everybody's in their ego, bro. People need to drop their egos, bro. And if we could just do that, man, okay, we can actually see what we have been doing and, and, and the direct path that we've created, all right, the lifestyle that we used to live. We used to live very loose lives, man, okay? Some of us out here, man, bro, I'm not even trying to go to this points on here, but it's like I have to tell you the points. Bro, people out here are so loose, bro. People out here are just sleeping with anybody, bro, okay? Mm -hmm. People are out here spreading shit around like crazy, bro. Okay? I have not been a part of that, bro. I've been with two... See, this is what I feel is important, bro. I've been with two girls, bro, only in 20 years. Okay? That, for me, bro, I'm not out here playing around. I'm telling you what I see. I, I know I deal with people up close and personal every single day, G. And when I'm telling you, I see all kinds of shits on people's lips and tongues and and face and the way their skin is, bro. I already know what to do. Okay. I already know what to do. And this is what I'm saying, man. We got to, people got to get back to ground zero, bro, and controlling themselves, bro. Okay. Because that's the only way that this is going to work out. Yep. And one thing, too. Say, Go ahead. Hey, all right. So, uh, remember, like, in one live you said um like when when a man ejaculates out a girl mouth you basically giving your potential away so that's why she be being famous insta famous all of a sudden right, like right. she just look good right because they swallowing our seed and that's what's right. making them glow making them Bro. glow is Bro. and that's crazy it's one of them things that people don't want to talk about bro all right, this is one of them things that people don't want to talk about, bro. And I'm keeping it 100, man. All right, people out here, bro, are doing all sorts of heinous things, bro. All right, but I'm telling you, man, listen, man, it, it, you might, that might be beneficial to women, bro, but that's not something that we're promoting to give out. You know what I'm saying? That's a very, bro, that's a very special gift that you've given out like that, man. Okay. And you wonder why they'll take it for free. Why wouldn't they? Why why wouldn't they? If they're getting pleasure from it too, all while, you know what I'm saying, getting whatever they want out of you, why wouldn't they? Okay? It, it just puts them in a power position over you. Okay? That's important, bro. All right? So you guys need to just stop out here. Stop, stop being loose out here, man. Okay? Understand, man, that you one day, bro, one day, bro, it's going to be the end of line for you, man. And you're going to be sitting back, bro, wondering. You're going to be sitting back, bro, wondering what you could do, man. Okay? Wondering what you could have done when your life is now cut short. I just told you, man, I just had a, somebody younger than me just pass away, bro. All right? From choices that all derive from the ego. Man, man there's countless people that have just lost their lives and 
let their lives go to waste because of the ego. Right, right. Countless. Mm-hmm. And uh yeah, man, I like the fact that you mentioned that you've only been with two women in twenty years. That's that's commendable. And I, I kinda wish I could go back and just, you know, cut my body count way down. Right. You know, and remove that ego drive. And uh, you know, I've even heard that like in a way, like each woman you sleep with is in a way is like kind of your wife. It so, is. So it's like you think about every woman you slept with is like, did you want that to be your wife? That's what I'm talking about, bro. Men would slow down if they really thought like that. Mm-hmm. They would. You know. Or if, or if or if the most high all of a sudden said, you know what, I'm just gonna make releasing your seed more devastating than I, uh, I you know, I have mercy on you. I love you. I'm I'm the creator, obviously, right? We're gonna let you play around, right? But just imagine if it had more devastating, you know, consequences that came with it. How how would that change your 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 thoughts then? You wouldn't be out here just hitting nothing. <laughs> you don't care how bad the temptation is because you know what it's going to do, right? Yeah. I just want to add to that. It's a reason. It's a reason why God had that thing going locked into a certain age. We were not able as young little boys we was not able to even release it to a certain age that right. show you how powerful and creative the life for it is we were more creative in right. nature as children we lose that over time by releasing and depleting ourselves in this matrix it's a certain reason why god said if i allow this thing i'm gonna wait till you get a certain age to release it to eat i know the first time you'd be like damn did something just come out of there because before right. then, we were not able to even. That's that's powerful. That's powerful. Right. And then I wish, like, I wish I could go back in time when I was started puberty and retain my seed, man. Mm. I, I wish I could have did this when I was, like, 13. Tell it, bro. Man, imagine, imagine now, man, where I'd yeah. be at. Imagine Athletically now. and everything. Yeah. yeah. Right. That, self, that self-preservation is a, is a must. Self-preservation is a must, man. Like, I don't think we uh, we um, even cherish the fact of preserving ourselves anymore, keeping that purity or keeping that righteousness about us anymore, girls and guys. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think that those things should be taught more because, like you said, it's just a degenerate generation out there now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of backwards-minded thinking, a lot of things that just are not in the laws and the wheels of nature. Just right. it's not right. Right. It's not right how, how how we look at sex as a as a gift of pleasure. It's supposed to be for procreation and showing true love. Love, exactly. Love to that person in, in that moment. And y'all create something. Y'all can create magic. It's a sexual energy exchange right you know what i'm saying so you just right. sleeping with body to body to body to body j cole said once in this song he said fun uh messing around with them hoes till you realize that you is the hoe right that's it uh, ain't that crazy that's game when you look wow. at it you are because you the one losing you losing cold, Tell me, man, what aspect are you winning bro tell me what aspect are you winning Mm. They, they oh, somebody win. tell me right now. I, I, oh, it feel good. <laughs> it that's I'll all you like, can say. I feel yeah. like J Cole practiced S R. I got a feeling he do. He had but, to have. Got to the way his lyricism. He Bro, said he's, a cult, he's in a cult. He had yeah. to. We already <laughs> talked about that. Yeah. He knows the game. All of them do. All all those big time people know about it. Now, do they practice it all the time? Hell no. But it's it's something that they learn because they're in the they they're in the know, bro. They get to learn all the things that we don't get to learn. All of it. All of it. You know, we, yeah, we practice in cult light. Go ahead, bro. Not to cut your wisdom. Go ahead. Oh yeah, well, but SR is very magical. That's a magical thing. Like it's, it's like or like you hold your seed long like long enough like it could be like I don't know like probably like around like one hundred plus but if you really want to take it to the next level where like you really manifest your true life you have to go a year plus or higher mm. you know 
Yeah. Because, like, you know, 600 days, like, that's crazy. Like, that's going to dream to go a year. Like, I want to do that. A year is a must. And I'm definitely going to do that. You going to do that? A year is a must. Take a lot of discipline to do that. Like, it does. Yo, it does, brother. I'm it does. Like, y'all 600 so you 900 days on shade, Mike? I'm 900 days. Here, I put that on the... I, listen, I, I, I'm going to tell you guys something. When I tell you, I swear to God on my life, I swear to God on most high, I swear to God on my children, I swear to God on my mama. <laughs> I'm a real retainer, bro. Okay? And I told you there was a time, bro. Let me tell you how messed up... Uh, I, I le- it's not even messed up, but let me just tell you how my mind works so you understand how I can not quit retaining. I'm going to tell you about the biggest um, contrast of conflict that I had in my life. So there was this one time, bro, when I first started retention, I got up around eight, nine months, bro. Okay. My first time on retention around eight, nine months, bro. I end up uh, coming around a girl that I used to mess with. Right. And we didn't end up doing anything, you know, just kind of hugging and flirting a little bit, bro. I came home, bro. And I had the worst blue balls I've ever had in my whole life. When I tell you guys, this shit hurt so bad, bro. Like, I was in tears, bro. It was so bad. They were so built up. And all it was trying to tell me to do was release. It kept saying in my head, just release, bro. Just let it out, bro. Just go release it, bro. Just let it out, bro. And you know what I end up doing? I end up just laying there. And f- I just ended up laying there in pain. And I didn't give up to the voices. And I I look at it now. That is how I face. Think about it. If if that's the battle that you have to face to ensure that you will forever be able to be in control of your situation, then that's the that's the situation that you're going to have to look into. Because that is what happened to me at a crossroads where I overcame the impossible, bro. I. Uh, 100% of the people would have quit and failed right there. Oh, my mama, bro. Because a release would have would have relieved me, okay, of all of that stuff that I had built up. And at the same time, I could look at it as like, damn, I could be doing, you know, negative things, but I, didn't, I don't look at it like that, okay? I look at it like, bro, that just proved to me that I have the willpower to do anything, mm-hmm. okay? Because I literally could have easily folded that night, man. Mm. Yeah, shout out to you for sticking that through, man. I know that's not easy at all. No, I wasn't, bro. Yeah, you got to get. That's why you got to find a gym with a cold plunge. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way it works, bro. And I have, I have cool. one. I, I have a gym that has a cold punch. So when this when homegirl was staying here naked, I would, you know, <laughs> I would have to go to the gym and go hit that cold plunge, man. Oh, that's funny, bro. Oh, snap, bro. That's funny, bro. Because you have to, man. That yeah, was the only time. thing that could save me is ice packs on there, bro. That's the only thing that brought me down, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah you got to move, you gotta move that energy out of that uh, lower chakra. That's really you what have to. But it was so concentrated, I couldn't move, bro. It, I was done. When I tell you I was done, I got home and, and I, I, you know how you, we've all had them. You can't even take down your drawers without them hurting. You know what I'm like, bro, you know what I'm talking about. Them oh, mugs yeah. were swole. I was just like, I was hurt, bro. And I was like, man, I'll never do that again. I vowed myself and I did. And I avoided her like the plague. <laughs> Sleep it off, man. <laughs> Yeah, basically what I had to do, bro. Okay, it's serious out here, man. But like I said, man, these are the battles that you're going to face, bro. Let's keep it real, man. I know every single one of y'all have faced the blue ball battle, but how many people remain strong, bro? How many people gave in? Okay, more people give in, you know, than they do face them. That's why I told you, man, you're going to learn a lot. People think they're just going to jump on retention and think they have the knowledge. No, what happens when you jump on retention is you acquire the knowledge because you're walking the journey. You learn about blue balls. (laughs) You learn about everything, okay? And this is how you're able to come here and tell people what they're going to experience. 
All right. This is the only way you're going to get this experience, fellas. And it's a must for you guys to do. Okay. Since retention is imperative, bro, to a man's growth. Like I said, it is the very first thing that needs to be taught in the book of manhood. Yeah. It'll, it'll, all, it'll all come second nature if you guys do a couple like the streaks, eight streaks, eight month streaks, year. Like I, I've done a few of those. And obviously now it's like second nature now, man. Like, right. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a lifestyle. And um, cool. I wanted to give you something because Spirit just told me to share this with you. We 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 actually right there in age. you 21. I'm 20. And we both went on our journey around yeah. the same age i went on at like 15 16 and um i learned a lot you know what i'm saying yeah. look bro stay on here yeah. stay on right. it. stay on it. go go because you just just coming up here on a one day street that's that's courage sure that's is. bravery especially that's, with us yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, yeah. and, and you and you just you was like, all right, I'm gonna do it. So that let me know right there that you finna this next street that you finna go on, Seriously. you finna be hitting this at the par. Yeah, you finna be hitting this yeah. at the par. I'm telling you, bro, keep going, yeah. stay on it, and I'm glad to know that somebody else went on the journey. Shoot, I I don't know you physically, but you went on the journey around the same time, right. at around the same age. So that's a beautiful thing. A lot of guys at, at that age and even at this age that we at now, 21 and 20, a lot of guys are not practicing this. Mm -hmm. They are not practicing this, especially at a 16 and 15. Gee, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure on men to, you know, lose their virginity early by your peers and shit. And, you know, and also yeah. the, cult, the culture, the, the powers that be. With all the movies and films, you know, the 80s and 70s, they, they pushed that on the youth, you know, going to prom and losing your virginity. And truthfully, a man should hold on to that, too, as long as he could, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, the same, the same as a woman should be preserving herself. It's yeah. the same as a man. They don't teach us. That's our power. Exactly. That's how, that's how you really attract. If she's sitting over there preserving herself, right. she's building her life. She's going through her life. You sitting over there preserving yourself building your life, achieving things, building an empire, y'all gonna link up one day exactly. and create a holy matrimony. Exactly. And bring in true Christ beings, bro. Yeah. We're talking about yeah. leaders, yeah. the real leaders. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that'd, like, that'd be nice. That's beautiful <laughs> here, man. And just, I want to commend Chosen and Cool real quick, man, because like y'all did it when, in your teen years. That's crazy. It's crazy, oh, bro. Yeah. At that age, yeah, we man, the pornography already got me, unfortunately, by then. Right. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. you know, I can, like, you guys are yeah. so ahead of the game. You guys should really, really take the moment to appreciate where you're at right now. And right, bro. understand, man, I got like a decade on y'all. And so just imagine where you guys can take this. You guys got time on your side and just really, you know, whatever you're, you're trying to do with your life, man, just do that, man. Go in that direction. Right. And, and and stay on this path, man, because I, I promise you, you guys are going to be ahead of your peers and, and you're going to go so far with this, man. I, really I promise you. Listen, I, you could come back here and you could call me every name in a book and I'll accept it. If you truly take this walk, bro, and cultivate your sexual energy and put it towards your goal, I guarantee you the next time you come back here, you're going to be somebody, somebody. You're going to be somebody, bro. I promise you that, okay? And you're going to be full with knowledge. You're going to be full with wisdom. And that's what creates leaders. Mm. And we need more people out there like that as teachers, okay? That's what we need, bro. And we need to be reaching more and younger and younger men because we need to stop this abuse at an early age so it doesn't translate to our little girls, okay? They're just as important. I have a little girl. I don't want no trash being with my little girl, okay? Yes, yes, so this sir. is the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, okay? I want kings to be out here, bro, all right? I want real men to be in their higher power, bro. And this is what we going to do, okay? Because you seeing what, bro, you seeing what God Mo is doing. Listen to my passion, fellas. Imagine yeah. taking this energy wherever you go, bro. You have whatever you want, and this is where my life is going. No cap. So this is why I'm telling y'all, 
The longer you go, keep building up your streaks. Bro, it's okay that you go 90 days and you decide to come off. Guess what? The next streak is going to be longer than that. It's going to be six months. Okay? Keep going longer and longer and longer. And let me tell you what I've noticed. When you go longer and longer and longer, guess what also happens, fellas? In between your releases, whether that be with your significant other or not, you start to go retaining between those dates as well. So you're always constantly retaining, bro. Okay. And ultimately, it's all about time retained before you unlock your superpowers. And now we understand how this thing is actually working. It's a buildup of energy that you are slowly transmuting, okay? And once you fully tap in, you will know. Because everything that you say, bro, will come from a true, genuine spot of authenticity. And the people that you talk to, bro, all right, will be attracted to your energy. And that is how you know your powers are working. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, talk that talk. Yeah. Like, yeah, you got though, it. I'm, I'm still a rookie. I still look at myself as a rookie because I never touched a year yet or two years. But you know what I'm saying? I still got a lot to work on. Like I, still yeah, got right. a lot. I still got a long way on my journey. You know what I'm saying? We but all do, bro. We all do. On day one, talking to the the big dogs that's one year, two years plus. Like that's like, you know, I I, I know that, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna bounce back, you know. Right. You know, a lot of dudes relapse and they just give up and just and just go back to their old habits. They get it and be stuck in the matrix all over. Right. You know, cool. Get huh. back up, climb back on that ladder, and keep going. You know, that's the important part. Yeah, uh, because you you got to remember. I'm gonna give you something. You remember. You remember, and when people keep doing that. It's like they don't remember how good retention was to them. Facts. I was going through relapses like crazy, bro. And it was just like I was trying to get back to retention because I knew how great I was on retention. Like, I mean, it's night and day. Tell it. You know what I'm saying? It's night and day. Cool. Well, I want to give you another thing, bro. Like, remember those times. Remember those times. Go back to your 100-day streak. That's what I used to do. I'd be like, man, let me go back to my 16-day streak in my mind and remember right. how good life was. Just remember how effortlessly life flowed. Remember how just the retention of knowledge, the retention of wisdom, the retention of everything. It was almost like you and God was walking side by side. Remember right. those days, cool. Remember those days. And anybody else out there, because I know you're not the only one, but you were led up here. To help the others who are on one day streets, who are on three day streets, who are on four day streets, and, and y'all finna go on one. Y'all finna go on a huge run, a huge streak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That get that get me every time. Yeah, C Mac in the building. <laughs> yeah, so so just remember that time frame of when you know. Like life was effortlessly moving and you were methodically just climbing the ladder, just right. climbing the ladder. Just keep that. And uh, that's it. Bro. That's what I wanted to give you, bro. And then when you get over that lust demon, that's when the real practice and application is really now finding what your missions are in life. Like it could be little mission. It could be writing a book. It could be building a house. It could be. You know, it could be the smallest things, but transmu transmuting that energy now into some sort of mission. Mm -hmm. You know, that way you can get away from just, okay, now I'm on day 200, but now, now let's get past that. Now let's now move on to the mission you want to do or some accomplishment, whatever it is. Right. Right. Yep. You're telling the truth, bro. That's why your name is truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, well, you know, I like, I'm in the, like, I'm in the arts, like, you know, I, I act and I write and I started acting in my mid twenties and I, and I was very fortunate because I worked with some my training was with, with some elderly people, like people who are 70, 80 years old. And basically what I would say is 
I think everyone should take an acting class, not to be famous or anything like that, but you take an acting class with a really good teacher because then you really start looking in your own life and your own behavior and why you do what you do. Absolutely. You know, and uh, yeah, I mean, like, like that's what I'm saying now. We're, we're doing this practice now. Um, I lost my train of thought, but... <laughs> um, no, the yeah. arts, you were talking about the arts and how the old people, you know what I mean, teach you've learned and you learn how to not move basically you learn how to to watch yourself you know yeah I mean? well exactly to have high awareness um to know why you do what you do you know every choice you make why do you pick up the pen why do you have a drink why do you do this why do i watch porn and then when i'm sorry i'm sorry i said oh, the why <laughs> we'll, we'll bleep it out i just don't want a whole bunch of bleeps in my upload yeah <laughs> but you start you start really questioning why you drink why you smoke why you watch this why do you fornicate and then you can really dig deep and find the culprit of that you know what i mean and and then that's what it's done for me because when i was playing characters i started asking questions or why does this character drink you know it's not right. just it's not random there's a reason why you do what you do but a lot of people fall unconscious they forget the reasons and it just becomes habit and, exactly you know and they forget why they do what they do and um yeah man it's it, this is an incredible journey man you just like i said find a mission micro mission whatever it is man just put your energy towards that that way you know you then you start forgetting about the streak you continue with the streak but you just start you know focusing on that mission you know whatever that is you know like i said it's all different with all of us so truth bro truth that is the truth right, oh guys. no oh, oh oh wait my bad no i'm sorry Right. I was gonna, the, when you said, oh, that's why they call you the truth broadcasting station, that, that's what I was going to jump on is that what I try to do in my daily life, and I brought up the acting, is in my daily life, I try, and I try, I say that sincerely, of telling the truth every day in my life because then when I play characters, then I can tell the truth to them because if you live a life of deception and finagling, then when you be in the arts, you're going to do the same thing in that. You're going to try to fool people and calm people, and people can sense, you know, bullshit and deception. You know, they... Bro, so. that is brilliant, bro. Oh, yeah. I honestly no, really absolutely. love that. And you know why me and you, I think me and you connect so well is because I was a communications major and I had to do a lot of public speaking and I had to do, you know, a lot of stuff where we had to do like little acting in groups and stuff like that. And you're absolutely right, bro. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I would, I would suggest that to everybody try. I mean, I know we, we tell white lies here and there through this society, but if you can just be fully honest during your days with people and yourself, man, you'll start growing real fast, man, with, with everything. So exactly. And you won't have to be one of these people worrying about coming on here and worrying about what you're going to say. Yeah. You could just come up here and flow, bro. When I tell you that, um, retention has opened up my life like a book, bro. And everybody I deal with, I just flow. Dude, I, man, I, I wish you guys, man, I'm not kidding you guys. I've met so <laughs> many effing people. So why don't you get the glasses, get the glasses with I the know, video camera. But, but <laughs> it's crazy, bro. And, and, and here's the thing is people reach out to me. That's how I know that it's a good connection. You know what I'm saying? Like I just give people my number, I, you know, I give them, you know, my YouTube or whatever. And, Guess what? Just 99% of those people have reached out. And to me, that's telling me about how I'm moving and how I'm flowing. And I don't, it's not like, like I need them to co-sign it because I know how I'm living because I, I'm, I'm forcing this, you know, this view of myself on people. You know what I mean? I'm working on myself so I can, I understand what I'm putting out, but when you get it back, bro, there's no greater feeling than that, man. And these people know I don't want nothing from them. These people know that I'm not being fake with them. These people just like that I'm being genuine and I listen. All right. I listen, bro. That's the number one thing that I do. I listen, bro. And, you know, I draw connections with people. And just like that, bro, on SR, man, my whole life has just changed. And I'm telling you guys, this is your creative power. Bro, I am going to be successful no matter what. Do you hear what I'm telling you guys? And this is the same attitude that you're going to have as a retainer. No matter what, guys, you cannot be stopped. I don't understand what you don't understand what I'm saying. I can't be stopped. If I'm retaining my seed, there is no mathematical equation of being stopped. It's impossible. Okay? 
But the, the more that I keep releasing the energy, yeah, I might not stop completely, but you're going to be slowing down. And that's what you don't want to, that's what you don't want to do. I am at full steam ahead, bro. Okay. In a big ass ship on the open ocean, bro, with no, no destination in view. I'm just going, okay. I'm just going towards the light, bro. And I'm, what I'm learning is that the power that a person has when they're cultivating this sexual energy is, is straight up God-like power, bro. Okay? Because you are talking to everybody on their level and you are reaching them in a personal way, bro, that they carry on with them, bro. And they always will remember you for that specific interaction. And I am out here doing it and living it every single day. That's why I'm telling y'all, I want y'all to do it. Some of y'all out there think you don't got a chance in the world to be somebody. Some of y'all out there thinking you in the worst situation ever. Maybe you don't got a lot of money. Maybe you ain't got no wit. Maybe you ain't got no job yet. Maybe you ain't got this. Maybe you ain't got that. I promise you on my life. Okay. I had, I was in the same situation as you. I had nada of those. Okay, I was sleeping in my car at one point. Don't play with me. Okay. And I sat there, bro, and I kept retaining my seed. Right when the lowest moment wanted me to release my seed when I was at my lowest. And guess what? That would have continued me being broke. Do you see how it works? Instead, I stayed strong, bro. I kept remaining positive in my mind. I kept my energy. And with that energy, it went to those positive thoughts. And that's what brought these manifestations here now. And this is what you're seeing. You're seeing the fruits of what retention will do to anyone's life. It is a, not a joke, fellas. Okay, I don't know what you guys think I'm a joke for. This is not a joke. Just because you don't want to do it and you don't, you think it's unattainable does not mean it's a joke. Okay, this is legit. All right. And if you guys are out there and you're in any one of these situations, and or you have not reached your fullest potential, then this is what it is that you need to be doing. Let's go, kid. Let's go, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. Right. It, the energy, the energy is like, woo. The energy is like, woo. You know what I'm saying? Like, just what he's saying. Just what he's saying. Like, it's like the vibration of it. Bro. That's right. Unexplainable. Unexplainable. You can't be yeah. fucked with on this shit. You can't you be fucked can't with. Be missed with on you retention. Cannot. Listen, you know bro. how to. You know how to handle every situation. <laughs> Any situation. You so adaptable. You so adjustable to what life you like. Oh, that. You know what I'm saying? Like, watch tomorrow. What we go through. <laughs> what we go through on retention. A normal person, it would drive them crazy. Tell it, bro. It would drive them crazy. They wouldn't have the mental faculties. The brain fog would be so surreal. I'm right. telling you, bro. Like when you get on this journey and you stay true to this journey and you go within and you dwell deep and you dwell deep and you let things come to you, these powers that you didn't know you unlocked. But when you get in certain situations, you find them and you be like, I didn't know I had that power. <laughs> I didn't know I had that strength. You don't. Right? I didn't know I, I didn't know I had I didn't know I had the brain power to you know what I'm saying map out this equation or map out this situation or do this or do that. Man, the bravery that you get when you own this, the step forward into the I know I call it stepping in the fire. I call right. it stepping in the fire because you got that fire. You, it's burning, it's blazing under your feet. It's that chi. It's that Thank kundalini you. rising up and down in your chakras. It's lighting you up. It you, really is. You recycling that energy. You bringing it up through your crown, and you connecting, and you and you got you a, a tool or you got you a signal out here for anything you want. Right. You got you a signal out here for anything. That's why you're attracting the people to you. Tell I know y'all know. Y'all know. That's why we on here talking to each other like minds, man. Right. We attract it. Like, can you attract each and every one of these guys on the panel? I know. It's the wavelength that you on. Semi retention puts you on a wavelength beyond, beyond Earth. Right, and we all get tapped into our powers by this way. We all learn from each other how to unlock our gifts. And when I tell you we gonna take over as the baddest of the baddest new generation of real X Men, <laughs> that's gonna be us. I got yeah. Uh, I got. I got I, 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 shave, shave, shave has really last because I think 
I think even shaved, shaved and I maybe jumped on this almost the same time, but around 2017, 2018, you had all those other cats like Gabe dog and all those other channels. Yep. You <laughs> I remember? remember, I remember that guy. bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. I remember, bro. Yeah. You know, they had a lot of them, man, but yeah, but shave, you know, shave has stayed on the course, man. He's, he hasn't abandoned it because some, some of those guys had a lot of videos on that, on that topic. And right now they're gone. A lot right. of them are gone now, man. So my problem is I just never made a lot of videos, but I, yeah. people would watch my videos. I just didn't make a lot of them. You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah. Well, you did it the right way. You did it the right day because you didn't water it down. You know, right. like a lot, a lot of them were watering it down, but, but a lot of people like that. They like, they like that dopamine hit of hearing the same. Yeah, I know you don't, but <laughs> other people, they like getting that same repetitive truth shit, you know, and it doesn't, it feels good for a little while, but it's not really doing nothing for you, you know, in some Absolutely, ways, bro. So you are you, not joking. Yeah, you did it the right way. You did it the right way. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Absolutely. And I think we just, we are the guys to show the world that never, never let a hard time humble you. When you on this journey, a hard time can't really humble you. Nada. When you on this journey, man, I mean, your car could be broke down. Your house could be burnt down. Talk you could to be him. a black, you could be a BMW, you could be a black man walking. Talk you understand what I'm saying? And you still gonna feel like you worth a million dollars, a billion, Ooh, a bundle, a feel, bundle million dollars, a bundle million dollars. I mean, infinite million dollars. I mean, you a trillionaire without no car, without no house. Without mm. a place to stay, because guess what you know? You know, man, if I stay true to this journey, I'm going to have all them things and more. And it's the truth. And you know that. You that's know that good. digging deep. You know that you got this force inside you that's not going to let you fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know it. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Hey, good stuff. you know who had that same force, right? Who had who who had the same force, but he didn't know how to use the power? Luke Skywalker. All right. You looking you retainers over here playing with this energy on some for real, for real stuff is seriously Dark Vader. They got bro, we have power. Okay. You can choose to use it for negativity, or you could choose to use it for positivity. Let me show you what it looks like on positivity. This is what you see: a room full of kings. All sitting up here telling the same experiences that they all share. The negative energy would be what? Me up here hoeing, okay? Me up here talking about how many girls that I knocked off, right? Me up here being in my ego, you know, talking about just stupid stuff that wouldn't matter. Bro, you can see the difference, man. And the people who are out here really walking this walk, it is no cap. Yo, who's on a who's on a mission, bro? Any any micro missions? Any big missions here for anybody? I'm on a mission, on a Yo, mission right mission. now. Let me tell you about one. I'm on a mission. Yeah, right now. I just got yeah. you. You ask troop. I got to tell you. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> look. I just man, when I was on this journey a year ago, okay, I hopped on. I was outside in August last year, around the same time this year. I was outside. You feel me? I was sleeping outside at a park in Birmingham, wow. Alabama. I made up in my mind I was going to go to Colorado and at least at least give effort to walk on Colorado football team. You feel what I'm saying? Because I had that fire. And every day I woke up, I got up at 4 o'clock. Still to this day, I got up at 4 o'clock. Every day I go run, I go, I go work out in the park, and I drive my ass to the gym. Every day. Every day it wasn't no day, couldn't nobody. If you called me at 10 o'clock, I'm oh, sorry. You know what I'm saying? I was so focused. I drove all the way from Birmingham, Alabama to Colorado. 20 hours. I drove that trip. I was falling asleep at the wheel. 12 pulled me over. I was like, man, look, I gotta get, I gotta get the boulder. I got the boulder. I was like, I gotta, I gotta get on campus. I was like, I gotta meet a coach so I can get on this team. Right? Check me out. So Within seven days, some told me to leave on the 7th of January. Within seven days, within seven days, on the 14th, they had a team meet. So you know what my smart, intelligent brain said? said put on a suit, 
go, you know what I'm saying? Go get lined up and go up in there. Right. Mm. I didn't have, I was not on the team. I'm not enrolled in school at this point. I'm not on the team. I went up in there with true faith. This is what semen retention will do for your life. You will go from uh, one state to another state on pure straight faith, no fear, bravery. Bravery, confidence, courage. You know what I'm saying? I went up in that room. I looked Deion Sanders in there. I shook his hand. I said, look, I can't play football for you. I can't play football for you. I drove 20 hours from Birmingham, Alabama. He was like, you pimping, ain't you? I was like, no. I just want to play football. I just want a shot. I just want a shot. I just want a shot to show that I still got it. I was not in college. Uh, I took a gap year. So I wasn't even in college. He said, look, I can't have you around campus right now. But if you get enrolled, you bring your ass on back up here. Bro, within two weeks, I was enrolled in school. And there you go. That's all I'm going to say. That's the mission. And I just want to show you how to do a faith. And that's testimony. All she wrote, bro. <laughs> oh. that, shit reminded, that shit reminded me of Rudy Yeah Bro, bro. somebody <laughs> told me that Somebody <laughs> told me that That is the story Somebody <laughs> told me that But I'm just saying Anything in this world You can do it You can have it You can achieve it You can grab it And if you a man Semen retention is the way Tell it bro Semen retention is the way That's the Semen fire. retention is the way now that's that's the mission, and we're gonna see where it go from here. Okay. We're gonna see where it goes from here. <laughs> Yo, we gotta do seminars, man. <laughs> we got to. I told man, hey bro, we really need to organize that, G. Uh that sure I'm be funny. serious, bro. We no, I, really need to organize that, bro. No, that I'm, would be down, some amazing, down. amazing things, bro. <laughs> That could transpire at a retention, you know what I'm saying? Gathering like that, man. Oh man, no, I agree, I agree man. You just, yes, you just gotta build the following if we're gonna do like you do a tour, you know, coast to coast or some shit. But. Right. Well, I'm not even thinking about doing no tour. It ain't gotta be nothing. <laughs> it ain't gotta be nothing like that. Well, you gotta think big. <laughs> yeah. No, I ain't gotta be nothing. I feel it. I feel it. Once it gets to a certain level, I feel that. But no, nah, it will just be, you know. <laughs> <laughs> bro, go to state to state, meet retainers at different places. You know what I'm saying? Kind of kick coattail to people like that. You know what I'm saying? Get a get a moving uh, movement started like that, bro. I mean, it's not even it's it's in our possibilities, bro. This is why we're here doing this. It's all yeah, about bro. organization. And if if I know what I know, the guys that we have here, bro, we can make this happen easily. I mean, just with Jim Truth and Broadcasting, Dylan chosen you know what i'm saying a, b a boss online bro we got all of these guys bro who we could easily organize something like this man and it's something jim, we should be thinking about jim just wrote a world semen retention convention <laughs> retention that's really good retention convention <laughs> yeah, that sounds good, bro. That sounds really good. You think about it, man. If we just just had a small convention, we could just pay all the the speakers. You know, charge like five bucks for people to get in, bro. Pay all the speakers, bro. Meet people, make build connections, bro. That's how I'm telling you, bro. We we could create, bro, something so big here, at Truth and Broadcasting Station, bro. It's right here at our fingertips, man. Yeah, man. I, like I said, I'm I'm game, bro. I'm very spontaneous, and I don't fuck around, man. If some shit's set, and then we, you know, you want to collaborate, or all of us here, right? Um, you know, as long as our schedules are, you know, coexist. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm not trying yeah, to tell you yeah. we're gonna we're gonna force nothing that don't work. Oh yeah. Oh, we're absolutely. not gonna do that. That's not business, man. Like, but what I'm saying is, we will make sure we do this because this is something we want to start building. Hell, who knows? This could be bigger than anything that we're doing right now. So why would we waste the opportunity? Yeah, and that's yeah. almost like transmuting again, transmuting that energy to a mission, a mission like this that we're talking about. You know what I mean? Then, yeah, I time. agree. I agree. So, fellas, I'm gonna end this one right here. I think that's a perfect listening time because I don't want to discourage people to not listen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I think this is um, an hour and 48 minutes is 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 sweet spot. Okay. So we'll do this again next weekend, same time, same place, Saturday, 
All right, please put a open, put us, please put me in on your schedule, bro. Okay, this ain't nothing to do to come here for 20 minutes if that's all you got. You know what I'm saying? To come in here and show some love to the retention community because we're doing positive things over here. Okay, you got to think about it. We're the only little corner of, of YouTube that's actually putting out positivity. Okay, we all know what shows up on that for you page. We all know what shows up on social media, period. Okay, so we got to keep continuing to do our job, holding it down and leading by example. Okay, that is this is what we got to do. We real men over here. We're the real leaders. Okay, we are the real retainers, bro. We are the real Dragon Ball Z characters, bro. <laughs> we are those real folks, man. Okay. And we're going to continue to strive and get better and better. So I appreciate you guys for being in here tonight. I will talk to you gentlemen on the next one. Let's say peace. And then I'll check you guys next week. Yeah, yes, peace, sir. man. Peace. 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 Definitely, peace, man. man. Definitely. Yeah, man. Peace, man. All right, guys. All right, you guys. Have a good weekend, man. Y'all too, man. Take it easy. Peace, fellas. Peace. 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 I will not stay on stage, even if I must sacrifice my life.